Okay, so we're going to look at a bit more of a difficult question. Uh, and this question is, we're asked to determine the graph of h of x. Now, there's lots of different ways you can do this. Um, the way I'm going to show in this video is determining the actual equation of h of x, and then simply just graphing that equation. So let's see how that might look. So we're told that h of x equals uh, the function f minus g plus l. Okay, so we have lots of operations going on here. I'm going to rewrite this as f of x minus g of x plus l of x. Okay, and we're told over here what those equations equal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute our function notations in for the actual equations that they are. So h of x would equal f of x, I'm going to put that in brackets, f of x being root x minus 6, minus bracket, and now I'm going to apply g of x equation and substitute g of x for the actual equation it is. So x plus 2, bracket, plus um, l of x, which I'm going to substitute its equation, x plus 5. Now at this point, um, I'm going to apply my negatives in there into the brackets so I can get rid of those brackets. Okay, so h of x will equal the square root of x minus 6, and this will become negative 1 times x, which gives me negative x, negative 1 times 2 gives me negative 2, plus x plus 5, and from here I'm going to simplify by combining like terms. So I'm going to combine these like terms here, and then my constants together. So I will end up getting h of x equaling the square root of x minus 6, negative x minus x. That actually cancels out. And then negative 2 plus 5, which will give me positive 3. Now we're left with something hopefully we are... Um, uh, we kind of recognize this is a radical function. And if we remember stuff about our radical functions, uh, that being the transformations of our base radical function being y equals root of x, we can actually move this quite or graph this quite easily. Because remember, if we go from our base root x function, which looks something like this, so when x equals 4, y equals 2, x equals 9, so on and so forth. So our base function, y equals root x, looks something like this. Now, h of x equaling the root x minus 6 plus 3, well, these are just transformations applying to our base of x, or our base function root x we are moving, shifting, six units right, and then shifting three units upwards, okay? Now, remember, my point zero, zero here on my base function root x gets moved, and this actually, when it's in this uh, type of, uh, sorry, when it's in this form, it's pretty easy to tell. Remember, the form h of x equals, let's say, a times b x minus h plus k. Remember, this tells us the coordinate point, coordinate values, of starting point. What do I mean by starting point? A little review. This is kind of our starting point of our base function. So we know that starting point has moved six units to the right, so here, and then three units up. So right there. And there's no stretches occurring to this or anything, so we can simply graph it going here, okay? And then we go from this point 1, 2, 3 over, 1, 2, 3 over, and then 1 up, 1, 2, 3, 1 up, 
let's go something like that. So this point has went here. Um, our point here has been relocated there, and our point here has been relocated there. And then lastly, this should be shifted six units to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then three units up. One, two, three. And then it will go on forever. So this is h of x. And we have graphed that function. So that was actually a good question for us in terms of reviewing um, operations of functions, so our sums and differences. And then we actually got to kind of review a little bit about transforming our base radical function um, and determining what that new graph will look like.